Right now, day one of the Chandler Halderson trial in the books. We'll break down the first few witnesses and look ahead to today's schedule in the murder trial. Also turning the tables. The reason a judge is now focused on the assembly speaker in the 2020 election investigation. And more snow and some strong winds are going to be in the forecast. We'll give you the details coming up. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning on this Wednesday, January 5th. I'm Leah Lynchheim. And I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for joining us. It's an alert day, mainly because of the wind. Julian Seawright is tracking it all for you this morning. Hey, Julian. And aside from the wind, we are looking at a winter weather advisory in effect until 6 p.m. for all of southern Wisconsin, and not just southern Wisconsin, but for all of Wisconsin as well. Again, this is in effect until later on this evening. We're going to be looking at periods of on and off light snow showers throughout the day, when on top of it, the wind is going to also be a big factor in lowering the visibility with that snow because of blowing snow conditions throughout the day. Now, on top of that, this is what we're seeing. The winds are picking up behind this cold front that has swept through the upper Midwest and with that low pressure system bringing in that moisture from the Arctic. That's why we're going to start to see colder temperatures. And on top of it, we are also going to be looking at that snow really sticking around for us. As we can see coming in over across the Great Lakes and just really sticking into Wisconsin, and even to our friends in Minnesota, we can see light snowfall just sticking around, not heavy bands, but just enough to really start to lower our visibility and cause some disruptions later on throughout the day. Now, as we take a look at our future track, in terms of wind gusts, we're going to be hitting those 40s as we get into the later part of this morning and especially as we get into the early afternoon. As we get into our evening hours, we're going to see them start to die off just a bit, but gusty and blustery conditions will stick around throughout our Wednesday. Now, in terms of light snowfall, it's not going to be too organized. We're looking at areas that will be more isolated of seeing light snow. Then as we get into around lunchtime, picking up a bit more organization and then getting into the evening commutes, it's going to stick around even more so around Dane County and areas to the east as we be going throughout the rest of our evening hours. But in terms of what we're going to be seeing in, about snow, not looking at too much in terms of accumulation. Lots of trace amounts for months of southern Wisconsin and even to the east. We're looking at even lesser chances of seeing more accumulating snow for even Watertown and the Waukesha area. Now, in terms of our commutes, with that blowing snow, just know the visibility will definitely be lowered throughout the course of this morning and especially going into the afternoon because visibility is already low throughout many areas of southern Wisconsin. But today is not the only day that we have an alert day for us. We have also have an alert day for Friday and Monday. That's because temperatures are going to be very bitter as we go in throughout the next few days. Temperatures are going to hit from that Arctic air starting to roll back in. So just know we're going to be looking at below zero conditions, especially with those winds. But in terms of seeing precipitation, not so much. Could see a wintry mix into our Saturday, but then we're going to stay onto the drier side. But the wind chills after today going into Friday, we're looking back into well below zero into the negative 20s. And then for the next week going into Monday, that's where we're going to be back into those negative teens and negative 20s once as well. So into the next 10 days, our alert days are for Friday and Monday aside from today. And that's because of those temperatures really, really, really going to be below zero with those wind chill and because of the Arctic air that is going to be rolling back in. Aside from that, a bit of improvement for Saturday and Sunday, but it is definitely going to feel like a whole lot like winter for the next few days, guys. Boy, a lot of ups and downs in there. A lot to track. Julian, you see right on top of it. Thank you, Julian. The second day of testimony in the Chandler Halderson trial will begin today for the murder of his parents. We heard opening statements from both the defense and the prosecution yesterday. The prosecution using over an hour to open their case. The defense taking about 10 minutes. Dane County Assistant DA William Brown promising to be fair, but he guaranteed we're in for a long and difficult three weeks. He cut up their bodies with axes and saws and knives. And he didn't even give them the dignity of having a funeral or even a final resting place in one piece or together. The prosecution laid out a series of what they called lies by 23-year-old Halderson. They claim Halderson was sending fake emails to himself pretending to be Madison College staff. He was set to meet with the school and his father Bart on July 1st, the same day Bart was murdered. Halderson's brother, meantime, Mitchell, was one of the first witnesses after opening statements. He told the defense he initially wasn't too worried about his parents not coming home from their cabin. But that changed when Chandler told him he was worried. My mom would reach out any chance she could, so she would, she would have told me. 
The trial resumes this morning at 8.30. We will continue to cover it in its entirety on air and online. To get a more in-depth look throughout the trial, you can see the timeline of the case and watch it live all over on channel3000.com. Just click on the Halderson Trial tab. You can also download our Channel 3000 mobile app. 604 now. New this morning, a Dane County judge is now focusing on GOP Assembly Speaker Robin Voss in the investigation into the 2020 election. This relates to an upcoming deposition for a liberal watchdog group seeking records on the GOP's investigation into the election. Voss has turned over some records, but the group argues that he should be held in contempt for not complying to the court orders quick enough. Dane County Circuit Court Judge Valerie Bailey Ryan says that Wisconsin residents deserve the truth. She also says that if the records do exist, Voss is improperly withholding them. The bipartisan January 6th committee is now calling on Fox News host Sean Hannity for an interview. He did not address the request on his show last night, but his lawyers say he will respond. The committee has released messages Hannity sent to White House staff leading up to the attack, one of them saying, quote, I'm very worried about the next 48 hours. Former President Donald Trump will no longer hold a press conference tomorrow. He was originally set to speak from his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida. A source familiar with the situation said Trump's advisors and Republican leaders encouraged him to cancel the event. President Biden, meantime, is expected to speak tomorrow to thank law enforcement officers who helped protect the Capitol. All right, 6.05 now. After a busy holiday season, it's nice to finally relax, get back to a normal life schedule. But for a lot of people, that return can often bring feelings of sadness and anxiety, something often known as the post-holiday blues. McKenna Alexander joins us now to explain what those can look like and ways to overcome them. Hey, McKenna. Yeah, well, once presents are opened, extended families are turned home, and vacation time has ended, everyone gradually begins to return to the day-to-day -day life they knew before the holidays. But behavioral health officials say for a lot of people, that transition isn't as simple as it sounds. Dr. Jean Yang, a psychiatrist with Rogers Behavioral Health, says prior to the holidays, we often have high expectations for things we'll enjoy matched with intense periods of enjoyment. Once that time is ended, however, Dr. Yang says people are often greeted with less to enjoy and a big mood drop for a variety of reasons. Nests are empty again, so family gathers together, you're really enjoying it. But it's even if you didn't enjoy it because it was stressful, right? You have to put on a false face sometimes, like look happy for even just for the kids. Um, and so you really don't have time to recharge. Dr. Yang says one of the best ways to create time for recharging is to find things to look forward to, no matter how small. He also suggests getting back in regular routines, such as a normal sleep schedule and healthy diet, as holidays can often alter habits. And of course, if the holiday blues go from a drop in mood to being unable to go about your day, like getting out of bed or keeping up with the house, Dr. Yang suggests speaking with your doctor about ways to manage those feelings. Yeah, it could be a really hard time of year for some folks. Uh, thank you, McKenna. 607 now. Wednesday brings a new opportunity with a Powerball drawing. No winner on Monday. The jackpot now sitting at 575 million bucks. It's the ninth largest in the game's history. According to Powerball, there's a 1 in a 292 million chance of winning the jackpot. Good luck, folks. Powerball numbers will be announced at 10 tonight. 607. Coming up, Aaron Rodgers, the front runner for the NFL's MVP. One voter, though, won't be voting for him. His explanation. Plus, I'm Josh Ryder. A local nonprofit needs your help giving refugees a warm welcome to the 608. I'll tell you what these new residents need most and how you can make it happen. I'm Rebecca, and you might know me from reality TV. And this was my stubborn body fat that I just couldn't get rid of. But then I went to Sonobello and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. It is so intensely gratifying for one visit to make this big of a change. It's amazing. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. It feels incredible to look down and it's flat. Thank you again, Sonobello. I'm so happy. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-595-1532 or go to sonobello.com.
Madison Magazine Winter Restaurant Week is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course dinner starting at $25, featuring wine and more. Dining with a choice. Don't miss Madison Magazine's Winter Restaurant Week 2022, starting January 23rd through the 28th. For participating restaurants, menus, and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, E&J Gallo Winery. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Ask your doctor about Botox today. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. It's not just a slogan, but the way of life at Gruber Law Offices. If you've been injured, call our team today. We've represented tens of thousands of injured Wisconsinites for more than 30 years. Trust Wisconsin's own Gruber Law Offices. Proud partner of your Milwaukee Bucks. One call, that's all. You're watching Madison's fastest growing newscast. News 3 Now this morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We have the story of a local nonprofit helping out refugees and finding a home in the 608. Josh Ryder joins us now with their story and how you can help. Hey, Josh. Hey, guys. Good morning. Open Doors for Refugees is an all-volunteer organization whose mission it is to help refugees make a home in the Madison area. It was founded back in 2016 and has made an incredible positive impact already. They support new and recent arrivals in a variety of ways, largely through a network of volunteer teams. With the support of communities in the 608, Open Doors is able to provide numerous items and services. They collect furnishings and set up apartments, along with providing other things like translation, transportation, ESL, child care, and employment services for arriving refugees. And during this time, it's community support that's crucial. The number of people that reach out that are interested, especially with um, you know the crisis in Afghanistan this past summer, um, we were overwhelmed with the support and are just so grateful. Each year, the events team puts on four major annual events and a handful of one-off events, either for the refugee community or the community at large. So they're only able to make this big of a difference due to the help of generous donations from individuals like you at home or organizations here in the 608. So if you'd like to learn more on how you can help this morning, just go to the story at channel3000.com. And coming up, we're going to talk a little bit more about the impact that they've made almost in six years now. They've been around for almost six years, so quite the positive impact already being made, guys. And we're going to talk a little bit more and talk about those numbers of just seeing how much of a difference they're making. What are some of the items they need the most right now? So right now, I just looked on their Facebook page this morning, which is also a great tip. They're looking for floor lamps. They're looking for floor lugs, living room furniture, kitchenware. So a lot of those things that you might not think are a big deal are going to be really, really helpful for them. So keep that in mind as you are going through your stuff, maybe doing a little winter cleaning. You know, there's always something that could be of great, great importance to some of these folks make it a home right here in the 608. You suggested, and I loved it, if you got new cookware for Christmas, get rid of your old stuff. Hand it over. Yeah, new lamp, new rug. Yeah. Got to do something with the old one. Pretty right? simple stuff, right? And it could make it's those small things sometimes that really, really make a big impact. You're right. Josh Breiter, thank you very much. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him at in the 608 at WICTV.com for a chance to be featured. We have some breaking news from overnight now. School in Chicago is canceled this morning. It comes during a fight with the teachers union over the city's increasing COVID cases. The Chicago Teachers Union says more than 70% of its members voted to pause in-person learning. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot is pushing back on this, saying that's unacceptable. Meanwhile, in Boston, more than 20% of teachers there 
are out with COVID this morning. And here in Madison, students returning from winter break tomorrow will stay at home. Classes are going virtual until at least Monday, January 10th. The district says that decision was based on record high COVID cases, staffing shortages, and testing ability or lack thereof. We're expecting an update from school officials by the end of the week on whether kids will indeed return in person by Monday. A new study this morning says that babies born in the first year of the pandemic showed less motor and social skills. Researchers at Columbia University studied 255 babies born between March and December of 2020. They found that infants scored slightly lower in motor skills and social skills, even among mothers who never had COVID. Researchers believe stress that the mother experienced and reduced interaction with others could be to blame. It's a midterm year and the Biden administration is putting its trillion dollar infrastructure bill as its top priority. The legislation will deliver those dollars over five years for roads, bridges, mass transit, rail, airports and waterways. Biden's infrastructure coordinator wants governors to take the charge on rollout of the law. In a letter yesterday, he asked states to create task forces to delegate that funding and avoid delay. The DNR is expanding a habitat area on the edge of Lake Mendota thanks to a private donation. Bill Towell and family are donating over 40 acres on the north side of Lake Mendota. They'll call it the Towell Family State Habitat. The donation will not only assist the DNR fisheries in keeping the Yahara River chain stocked and fish healthy, but also assist in stormwater retention and flood prevention. This land, this new habitat that you're looking at, will also create some amazing recreational opportunities and some fantastic fun memories for generations to come. In his speech, Tal went on to say that he was thankful to the DNR and all that they did in the area. In Milwaukee, America's Black Holocaust Museum is expected to reopen next month following years of struggles staying open. The museum was founded in 1988, but it closed back in 2008. A $10 million donation to the museum will help staff finish three more exhibits. They also want to buy a second building for more educational space. 616 now. Julian C. right with your most certified accurate forecast in Madison, and it's an alert day. Julian, that's is right. what we need to know. Yep, we have an alert day in effect, and one of the main reasons why is because we have a winter weather advisory in effect for all of Wisconsin until 6 p.m., specifically for areas into the south. Now, as we take a look, it's not just the winter weather that we're going to be looking at, but the winds. We're looking at winds that could be reaching around 45 miles per hour gusts throughout the course of the day and sustain 20 to 30 miles per hour. But in terms of snow, we've been seeing light snowflakes here in even at the station throughout the morning, but it's still lingering in Dane County and areas to the north as well. And that's what our story is going to be throughout the course of the day. Now, as we see outside, real cloud cover and on top of it, 19 degrees with some light snowflakes here in Madison. Now, in terms of visibility, it is still very poor, but slight improvement for Platteville. We're at two miles as of right now, but four miles in Madison with five miles into Janesville. Visibility is going to be low throughout the course of the day. But here's a look at our wind gusts as of right now. 46 miles per hour already in Janesville and for Platteville at 36 seven miles per hour gusting winds, which is bringing our wind chills into well below zero for areas to the southwest. And here even in Madison, we're looking at single digits at six degrees. That's how it feels as of right now. And we're going to see those wind gusts hitting into those 45 miles per hour later this morning and sustained throughout much of our afternoon and for this evening. In terms of snow, we're not going to see much organization, but light snowfall is going to continue throughout the morning and for our afternoon. So as you're planning out the day, just know to make sure that you're taking it slow on the roadways. Temperatures are not going to see much improvement out of the teens, but on top of that, it's going to be seeing snowfall and those gusting winds. And outside of today, as we take a look at our 10 day, our real improvement in terms of temperatures will be for Saturday and Sunday, but our alert days for Friday and Monday come as temperatures will be in single digits and winds will definitely bring those well below zero in for, for our wind chill, guys. All right, Julian Seawright on top of it now. Well, Aaron Rodgers is at the top of the list for NFL's MVP this season. One voter, though, says he will not vote for Rodgers, saying his off-season antics cost the team. An Illinois sports writer, Hub Arkish, admits that Rodgers is the best player on the field and the Packers are Super Bowl favorites, but he says that overall Rodgers hurt his team during the off-season and that Rodgers is a bad guy. Rodgers has his... Uh, Fourth best passer rating of his career this season. The only three better ratings come from MVP seasons. 
618 now. New this morning, Starbucks is bringing back its pistachio lattes. For a limited time, it features espresso shots, steamed milk, and a sauce made with real pistachios. It's topped with a salted brown butter topping. The drink can be ordered hot, iced, or blended. Starbucks says the seasonal latte will only be available this winter. January is Grammy month, and on CBS Mornings, they're kicking off a Road to the Grammy series to prepare. Today's artist is genre-bending British singer-songwriter Yola. She's up for two awards, Best Roots Song and Best Americana Album. Your voice can be very sweet, and then... <laughs> <laughs> And you enjoy that. Yes. I suppose it's my personality. Yeah. Sometimes I'm really adorable. Sometimes I'm like, not today. Not today. <laughs> not right. today, Leah. Not today. There you go. Well, after opening up for Chris Stapleton last year, she is embarking on her own headlining tour next month. Anthony Mason spoke with Yola in Nashville about gaining confidence, redefining herself, and finally coming into her own. I'll tune in for that, absolutely. She looks like a good interview. Yeah, okay, check this out. The James Webb, Webb Space Telescope has finished one of the most high-risk maneuvers on its mission to find new clues about the origin of the universe. The telescope has fully deployed all five layers of its tennis court-sized sun shield. NASA says each plastic sheet is roughly as thin as a human hair. The shield will protect the telescope from the sun's high temperatures. This means that the telescope is most of the way through its very high stakes part of the journey. The telescope should be sending back its first images in about six months. My husband is very excited about this, so I've watched a plethora of YouTube videos <laughs> about how this has worked. Gotta see the pictures. I'm excited. I can't for wait it. for the pictures. Zach's excited for it. Uh, yeah, we watched a um, CBS Sunday Morning Story on it, uh, like a full 60 minutes piece on it. We know everything you could possibly know about the James Webb Telescope. It's fascinating. It is really interesting. I love technology, and, yeah. and I can't wait to see what it sends back. Yeah. Can't wait. Coming up in our next half hour, record-breaking numbers for Wisconsin when it comes to COVID. How many of those cases are Omicron? It's 621. We'll be right back. Trust the First Warn Weather Team for your most accurate forecast. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobus and it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobuson.com to apply. Start the new year off right with Menards Bag Sale. Pick up a bag in store and get 15% off everything you can fit in the bag now through January 15th. Whether you pack it, load it, stuff it, or stack it. From light bulbs to tools, snacks, and much more, fit it in the bag and save 15%. So pick up a bag in store and find out how much you fit in the bag now through January 15th. to count down the days, put my ski trip to Cascade Mountain with my cousin each year. So much fun. We used to pretend like we were flying. Now, we really do. My dad and my uncle like that we still <laughs> ski free. But Noah and I, we just have fun. See you there. There's been much debate about the Mona Lisa smile. Would it have been bigger and brighter if she'd had good dental care? Maybe if Physicians Mutual Insurance Company had been around back then, it'd be a different story. She could have gone to the dentist more, knowing she'd have help paying the bills. And those regular checkups might have found early signs of tooth decay or gum disease, costly problems that could keep anyone from smiling. Physicians Mutual offers affordable coverage that can help pay for cleanings and unexpected or expensive procedures you might need, like crowns or dentures. This is real dental insurance, not just a discount plan or for checkups only. There are no deductibles and there's no annual maximum. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Call or go online today for a free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Get the dental care you need to help you stay healthy. For your free information kit with all the details, call us now or go to sendinfokit.com. So here's what we won't do. We won't let self-doubt win again. Because together, Come on, Riley, let's we're working on something more real. Elbows in. With a real plan and coach for real 360 support. That's Anytime Fitness. That's Real AF. 
how to change the way you pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Order the Herb Chicken Mediterranean Pizza right now at papamurphys.com. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name's Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. Best my morning ever. Thanks to Tina, we are checking out <laughs> Pepper the Silky Chicken. Pepper the Silky Chicken. What a name. We thank uh, Tina uh, for uh, setting that in. Uh, doesn't that just look comfy? It does. <laughs> this is like the the picture of Leah on a Saturday morning, <laughs> cuddled up in a just little need, fur blanket and a fur hat. Just needs a tiny little cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> just complete the look. I, I could use a chicken like this. Well, Pepper uh, certainly uh, put us in a good mood this morning. Hopefully it did you too. So thanks for uh, sending that in, Tina. If you want to share your morning with us, use the hashtag MyNews3Morning and our favorites will wind up on the air. Julian, I think uh, you, me, and Stanford need our own little fur hats to stay warm today. Absolutely, because those winds are playing no games for today. As we take a look at what our weather is going to be like right now, current conditions, well, folks, it is windy and it is cold. As we're looking at 19 degrees as of right now here in Madison, light snow flurries as we're rolling in, but those wind chills are in the single digits and well below zero to our friends to the west. Now, bus stop forecast, well, just expect some light snowfall through midday and potentially around the bus pickup, but those temperatures will not improve at all throughout the rest of today. And even though it's an alert day for Wednesday, or today, we're going to be seeing that in effect for Friday and Monday as well, as temperatures will be in the single digits and be hitting wind chills of well below zero once again. So we have a cold stretch ahead of us as one thing that we're going to be keeping an eye on, because it's not going to be seeing too much in terms of snow, but it is definitely going to feel a whole lot like the cold weather that we are accustomed to here in Wisconsin for the next few days, guys. Yeah, and with those gusts, it's not going to feel like 16 outside. Got to hold on to your Russian Man. hat. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, so bundle up out there. We don't need to tell you that. You know it's going to be cold. Stick around, folks. More news through now this morning coming up right after this. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. What you see is important. How you see is important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Right now, get 40% off frames with any lens purchase. Finding the right ingredients for a healthy lifestyle can be tricky. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are here to help. Our Time for Kids recipe for health experts use online conversations and on-air reports to answer your health question. So tell us, what topics would your family like to hear about? What questions do you have? Use the handy feedback form on our Time for Kids page to share what matters most to your family's health. And together, let's take time for kids. Living with metastatic breast cancer means being relentless. Because every day matters. And having more of them is possible with Resenio, the only one of its kind proven to help you live significantly longer when taken with fulvestrant, regardless of menopause. Resenio plus fulvestrant is for HR positive, HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer that has progressed after hormone therapy. Diarrhea is common, may be severe, or cause dehydration or infection. At the first sign, call your doctor, start an antidiarrheal, and drink fluids. Before taking Resenio, tell your doctor about any fever, chills, or other signs of infection. Fresenio may cause low white blood cell counts, which may cause serious infection that can lead to death. Life-threatening lung inflammation can occur. Tell your doctor about any new or worsening trouble breathing, cough, or chest pain. Serious liver problems can happen. Symptoms include fatigue, appetite loss, stomach pain, and bleeding or bruising. Blood clots that can lead to death have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have pain or swelling in your arms or legs, shortness of breath, chest pain, and rapid breathing or heart rate, or if you are nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. Every day matters. And I want more of them. Ask your doctor about every day Fresenio. Contact Culligan, your local water expert. Happy holidays from Meineke Car Care Center. We would like to thank you for your business this year and wish you and your family a safe and happy holiday season. Drive safe during all of your travels. Meineke, doing car care right. We protect more than the car you drive. We protect
with the dreams that drive you. The It's Not Where We Visit, but Who We Visit policy from American Family Insurance. End of the road trip. Protect yourself on the road with a travel peace of mind package included when you enroll in the Know Your Drive program. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Schedule your comprehensive eye exam at shopco.com or bring in your outside prescription. Winter weather and winds will be headlining for our weather world. We'll give you the details coming up. A new daily record of cases in Wisconsin. How doctors across the state are reacting to the surge. 99 days, 1,400 miles. An update on a Stevens Point woman who walked all the way to Texas. Good morning and welcome to News 3 Now this morning, everyone. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Leah Lynch. I the top news of the day. An alert day in store for the chance for some snow and wind that might cause some pretty dangerous conditions on the road. We have two schools that are already canceling classes because of it today. That's Dodgeville and Mineral Point. Julian Seawright is in now, breaking down the timing in your most certified accurate forecast. Hey, Julian. And the first timing we're going to talk about will be our winter weather advisory, which is in effect until 6 p.m. for all of Wisconsin. And as we go in throughout the rest, this is what we're going to be seeing for our alert day. Our alert day for our or for excuse me for today is because we have windy conditions with that light snowfall that we've already been seeing throughout many areas in southern Wisconsin for today. Now it's not heavy, but with those winds, it's definitely going to be lowering visibility and could create some slick spots as well. So make sure if you're commuting this morning that you are taking the time and being very careful. Now this is what we're seeing in terms of tracking some of that snow. Still seeing it into the areas of northern Dane County as of right now, but it, as we can see over to friends into the west, a little bit heavier bands. Are starting to pile on as we continue throughout the rest of the morning. Now, as we take a look outside here and take a look at our current conditions, it's 19 degrees as of right now here in Madison, but we are also looking at those light snowflakes that are still sticking around for us throughout the morning. In terms of visibility, it's already been poor throughout the morning and it's going to continue to be that way throughout the rest of today. We're looking at poor visibility for Platteville, Madison, Monroe, and Janesville specifically, as we're still going to be less than five miles in terms of what we can see. Viroqua was already at half a mile as well. Well, now, in terms of wind gusts, this is what we're seeing as of right now. 46 miles per hour in Janesville with 37 in Platteville and 26 in Madison. So the stronger winds are still into the south, but it's really been bringing our wind chills into well below zero for areas into the southwest and even for southern areas as well. We're still in single digits here in Madison. That's what it feels like. So as you're heading out the door, make sure that you're really bundled up as we continue throughout the rest of the day. Now, for the snow, what we're going to be seeing is going to be periods of it, not a whole lot of organization. As we go into around the lunch hour and for the evening commutes, we're still just looking at periods of snowfall as we go in throughout the rest of today. And with it, not going to be seeing too much in terms of accumulations, mainly trace amounts. But still, it's going to be enough to be affecting our commute from the morning into our afternoon and evening hours because of that blowing snow. Now, on top of that, we do have an alert day for Friday and Monday because it's going to be cold today, but it's going to be bitterly cold as we get into Friday and Monday as well. Some systems is going to be bringing in a wintry mix for Saturday and we're going to be drying out, but the wind chills are going to be very, very brutal as we head into our Friday and going into our Monday as well. Now, as we take a look at what we're seeing for the next 10 days, this is what we're seeing for us. Friday and Monday are the two days are going to be the coldest and on top of it, we're looking at slight improvements for Saturday and Sunday, but we're not looking at too much in terms of precipitation so far as of right now. Systems aren't getting that much strength as we head to Saturday, but the alert days for that cold for Friday and Monday is definitely warranted because it is going to be quite bitter in Wisconsin, guys. Yeah, it sure is. All right, Julian Seawright, thanks. 632 now for the first time since the pandemic began nearly two years ago. Wisconsin just reported more than 8,000 new cases in a single day. Just six days ago, we saw the third highest day at 7,700 cases. Before that, we haven't seen numbers that high since November of 2020. The Department of Health Services says the spread of Omicron, along with holiday gatherings, is behind the spike. According to the CDC, the Omicron variant accounted for more than 95% of new COVID cases last week. A month ago, that number was just 8%. UW Health's Dr. Jeff Pothoff says they've been turning away patients lately due to the high number of cases, saying they can't all be taken care of right now. He spoke with our Mark Kane and Susan Simon on Live at 4 yesterday. Hard to say this almost three years into the pandemic, but I do think our darkest days uh, are going to be the next several weeks. Um, I, I'm hopeful that Omicron can move through quickly, uh, but you know we just don't know yet how quickly it'll move through. But what we do know is we are seeing a tremendous increase in cases like we've never seen before. 
Dr. Potov says while there are signs that this variant is less severe in a large population, the sheer number of cases is actually driving hospitalizations up. Across the country, more kids are ending up sick in the hospital. They are less likely to take up space in ICU spaces, instead coming in via the emergency, emergency room with symptoms of fever, cough, and low oxygen levels. In Wausau, the Marshfield Clinic is preparing for a possible increase in kids in the hospital. They currently have four pediatric patients with COVID, but should an ICU bed be needed, they only have a capacity of eight beds for almost all of central Wisconsin, whatever the age. We're not turning patients away. We have capacity, but certainly our concern is, you know, we are the children's hospital of the region. If you think your child has COVID symptoms, doctors say you should get them tested right away and to get your kids vaccinated if they're five years old or older. Now, doctors say masking, one of the best ways to protect the community, Dane County, the only county in the state with a mask mandate in place. So we just want to take a moment to remind you that uh, while we're not masked here on the set, at the news desk. We are masked everywhere else we go, uh, including the newsroom and elsewhere in the studio. We just try to set a good example. 635, now the second day of testimony starts this morning in the homicide trial of Chandler Halderson. Opening statements yesterday took an hour from the prosecutor, 10 minutes from the defense. Assistant District Attorney William Brown laid out several lies by 23-year-old Halderson as his motive for killing his parents. Witnesses called to the stand included Chandler's older brother, his mother's co-worker, and a neighbor. Did Chandler reach out to you at all for assistance during the July 4th weekend? No. At any point, did he reach out to you to tell you his parents were missing? No. No further questions. The defense, meanwhile, stressed the presumption of innocence, describing Halderson as a normal kid. Testimony picks back up today at 9 a.m. We are live streaming the entire trial over on channel3000.com and our mobile app. The Dane County Medical Examiner is identifying the teenager who was shot and killed at a student apartment on New Year's Eve. They say 19-year-old Frederick Davis Jr. of Beloit died of his wounds at a local hospital. Investigators say a 19-year-old man shot Davis in the chest at that apartment complex on Olson Court. The alleged shooter in custody and has been charged with first-degree reckless homicide. Representatives for the restaurant Paisons will be in court today in a case against their landlord over the structural concerns of their building. The West Wilson Street spot was evacuated for a second time in December. The city saying the landlord wasn't appropriately monitoring the situation. Paisons has since been operating out of its sister station, Portobello. Court documents show Paisons is the plaintiff in this case. Their landlord, the Executive Management Inc., is the main defendant. While the end of the holidays can often bring a sense of relief, it can also bring a major drop in mood known as the post-holiday slump. That trend is more common than you think, according to behavioral health specialists who spoke with our very own McKenna Alexander about ways you can combat those negative feelings. Good morning, McKenna. Yeah, good morning. Well, think of it this way. Life's normal, then all of a sudden it's filled with family, food, gifts, and so much more. Then just as quickly, back to normal, almost creating a sense of emotional and mental whiplash, something that can be difficult to overcome if ignored. A psychiatrist with Rogers Behavioral Health tells me the rapid change from lots of excitement to the daily grind can leave you feeling in a slump. He says one of the best things to do is get back on a schedule, like with eating and sleeping, as well as find spots of joy. One of the big things is going to be try to create things to look forward to, even if they're small. So even if it's part of a Saturday to block off with family members um, or to do something just different. So you were putting off a book that you were planning on reading or there are actually a bunch of movies coming out that you can either watch in the theater, um, trying to be safe with COVID uh, or streaming it at home. Dr. Yang also says to go easy on yourself with New Year's resolutions and acknowledge that the fact you're even thinking about making positive changes is already a big step in the right direction. He also notes if you find yourself having a hard time getting up and going to work or just taking care of yourself, those holiday blues may be something more. If that's the case, Dr. Yang says it's best to reach out to your doctor to discuss what's best for your mental health. All right, McKenna Alexander with some very timely information. Thanks, McKenna. Public Health says that it's now expanding COVID testing hours at its South Park Street Clinic. From Tuesday to Sunday, the clinic will now be open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. The expansion opens up more than 200 additional appointments every day. 
Appointments can be made at Public Health Madison Dane County's website. The Verona Area School District, meantime, is also offering up some more testing. Beginning this week, free drive-up PCR testing will be available to all students and staff. Those looking to get tested can go to the high school Monday through Friday between 7.15 and 8.15 in the morning. Participants should pre-register online and you want to park in the lot near the Aquatic Center before 8.15 on the day of the test. The White House having a hard time keeping its promise that it would deliver half a billion at-home COVID tests in the new year. In a briefing yesterday, the administration announced we're going to have to wait a little longer. So the first deliver, delivery from manufacturers will start later this month. That's our expectation. When we have those deliveries in hand, uh, we will put the website up, make it available uh, so that people can order tests at that point in time. More bad news. Prices of those at-home kits at retailers Kroger and Walmart will become more expensive. The companies entered a deal to sell the kits at cost for 100 days with no markups, but that deal is now expired. That allows for the retailers to mark up the price for profit. 6.40, your time on this Wednesday. We're taking a live look outside. It is windy out there, folks. And once the snow moves in later this morning, it's gonna cause some blowing on the roads. We have a couple of schools on a two hour delay, a couple of schools with cancellations. We're gonna break down the timing in your certified most accurate forecast after the break. And a Wisconsin woman finishing a remarkable journey. Her thoughts from the finish line at the Gulf Coast. Plus, a local nonprofit needs your help this morning giving refugees a warm welcome to the 608. I'll tell you what these new residents need most and how you can make it happen. The big in-stock winter blowout sale is on at Slumberland Furniture. Over 20 different sofas in stock and ready to go. Over 50 accent chairs and recliners too. Everything is on sale and shipping is free. Huge store-wide savings at Slumberland Furniture. The Home Expo is coming this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Meet the top builders, remodelers, and home improvement experts at the Monona Terrace Convention Center this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. Every accident is different. Different driving conditions, different injuries, different life circumstances. The insurance companies often use these circumstances to avoid paying you what you deserve. At Gruber Law Offices, we know how insurance companies can take advantage after an accident. Trust our experience and history of successful helping our clients. And remember, there is never a fee until we win. Call Gruber Law Offices today. One call, that's all. When the hands that do the fixing need fixing. When the hands that do the caring need caring. That's a job for O'Keefe's Working Hands. It's America's number one selling hand cream and guaranteed relief for extremely dry, cracked hands. Also available in O'Keefe's for healthy feet. Madison Magazine Winter Restaurant Week is here. Participating restaurants will provide a three-course dinner starting at $25, featuring wine and more. Dining with a choice. Don't miss Madison Magazine's Winter Restaurant Week 2022, starting January 23rd through the 28th. For participating restaurants, menus, and details, visit madisonrestaurantweek.com. Presenting sponsor, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund. Supporting sponsor, E&J Gallo Winery. Prepare to feel good in 2022. Join Planet Fitness now for zero enrollment, 10 bucks a month till January 6th. Enjoy tons of equipment in our cleans gloves for zero enrollment. Zero enrollment? And 10 bucks a month. That makes me so happy. You know what else will make you happy? Blowing off steam in our judgment-free zone. It's all about the endorphins, baby. What's up? It's this place, I tell you. Amen, baby. Feel Fitacular in 2022 for zero enrollment, $10 a month, cancel anytime. Deal ends January 6th. Go to Amazon.com skills to enable Channel 3000 news briefs. Get year-end savings on everything in stock, including mattresses at the big in-stock winter blowout at Slumberland. Everything is on sale, including mattresses, and shipping is free. The big in-stock winter blowout at Slumberland Furniture. On sale and ready to go. U.S. ad spending is set to surpass $300 billion by 2022, and the greater Madison area is poised for major growth. So now would be a great time to consider a career in multimedia sales and to join our team selling our top-rated media and digital solutions. Work for a company that offers training, autonomy, flexibility, income growth, upward mobility, and work-life balance with a competitive wage. If you have a passion to drive results for local businesses, then visit morganmurphymedia.com right now to apply. Welcome back. State Republicans want to use $25 million in COVID relief funds to encourage police to stay on the job and get new officers to sign up. 
One of the biggest details in a pair of bills introduced yesterday is offering new police officers a sign-on bonus of $5,000, along with $2,000 bonuses to all current full-time officers. Police chiefs say this would address a rising difficulty to attract new hires. Recruiting and retention are down because we went through a pendulum where people said it was no longer honorable to be a police officer or a sheriff's deputy, which is absolutely crazy to me. I would like to see a long-term solution to what has been described as a long-term problem by law enforcement and using one-time federal funds does not accomplish that long-term solution that our local governments in Wisconsin need. Two other municipalities statewide have used COVID relief funds for public employee bonuses. Quarter to seven now, we have the story of a local nonprofit helping refugees find a home in the 608. Josh Breiner is here now with the positive impact they're making in the community this morning. Hey, Josh. Hey, guys. Good morning. A huge difference being made right here. Open Doors of Refugees is about to celebrate six years as an all-volunteer operation this coming spring, and they've already left a huge mark here in the 608. It all started in 2016 as an offshoot of an event to raise awareness about the Syrian refugee crisis. They eventually morphed into Open doors for refugees. Their current mission and focus is helping refugees make a home in the Madison area. And since then, more than 6,600 volunteer hours have been put in, valued at roughly $167,000. With that, nearly 7,000 miles have been driven by volunteers for the transportation. And donations are also estimated in the tens of thousands. We're always just overwhelmed by the great response we get from the community um, and people are so eager and willing to help and it's just wonderful. With the support of communities across the 608, Open Doors is able to provide numerous items and services. They collect things like furnishings and set up apartments along with providing others like translation, transportation, ESL, child care and employment services for those arriving refugees. So they're only able to make such a big difference due to the help of generous donations from you at home and of course organizations here in the 608. So if you'd like to learn more about how you can help in this new year, just go to the story up on channel3000.com guys. Things that are especially important right now According to their Facebook page, they're looking for floor lamps. They're looking for floor, uh, like living room area rugs. They're looking for living room furniture, small kitchen tables. So just, uh, you know, very specific things that can be really, really important for these folks that are trying to make a home. Good excuse to get some spring cleaning in a little early. Get rid of some of that stuff. There Great place to donate it. And it really isn't, you know, it's pretty simple stuff, too. I think sometimes we forget how important some of that stuff is that we may no longer need in our home. That might be something that is the most important thing for another family that really, really needs it right now. So some pr pretty simple stuff, making it very easy for you up on Channel 3000 this morning. There you go. A rug, a lamp, give the space a little personality so it doesn't feel so stale. Make a nice home. There you go. Thanks, Josh. Remember to let Josh know what inspires you you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email them at in the 608 at WICTV.com. All right, over to Julian Seawright with the top story of the day, that alert day. That's right. We are looking at that alert day and because it's going to be cold and it's going to be windy and we're also going to be seeing some snow for us. Snow showers will be light, however, but the winds are definitely going to make that visibility quite poor as we go in throughout the rest of today. And this is what we're tracking on our radar as of right now. More light snow is starting to roll into Dane County, especially for areas into the southwest. And our visibility is still pretty poor as we're continuing in the morning. Areas with around Madison, four miles, per, four miles as of right now with Janesville, five and two and a half over into Platteville and our wind gusts currently 46 miles per hour in Janesville with 36 miles per hour in Platteville. Just goes to show you at once you're heading out the door, it is chilly, it is windy, and you can hardly see. So make sure that you're taking it very slow throughout the rest of your morning commute. And as we get into the afternoon as well, we're going to be looking at periods of that on and off light snow, especially around southern Wisconsin throughout our lunchtime hour and even going into our evening hour. But in terms of how much accumulating snow, we're looking at trace amounts here in southern Wisconsin, not looking for much in terms of how much snow we're going to be getting. But throughout the day, temperatures will hang into the mid-teens. And on top of that, we're going to be looking at our traffic as of right now. So we are going around the belt line, all green to start off our uh, Wednesday morning, but over towards the interstate as we are starting to load up, we're also still all green. Though it is visibility is definitely low, just make sure you're taking it slow and be careful of slick spots from that blowing snow. We'll have more coming up. Until then, back to you guys. All right, thank you, Julian. Uh, Central Wisconsin woman right here. Uh, she just successfully completed a walk from Stevens Point 
all the way down to Port Arkansas, Texas. We told you about Mary Hesh when she embarked on the journey back in September. Well, she reached her destination 99 days later on December 30th. The walk was to bring awareness to pulmonary fibrosis, which her mom passed away of 25 years ago. And then on December 12th, new meaning to finishing the 1400 mile walk when her father passed away. When I heard about his, his death, I, I cried for two hours and I'm saying, you know, I think it'd be a good thing to walk today and just get my mind off of it. And my dad would want me to finish. Mary carried both of her parents' ashes for the final miles of the walk and then mixed them together in the Gulf of Mexico. Her walk ended up raising $37,000 for pulmonary fibrosis. Boy, quite a difference. As a fellow Stevens Point native, she is making our community very proud. Uh, I am so happy that she completed the journey. And uh, what a uh, dedication and yeah. what courage to finish that. I mean, that at 14, I couldn't, could not imagine uh, that kind of trek, but Especially she did it for such a heart touching after, cause. After hearing of yeah. the death of her, her father, father, she kept and going. Continuing. Yeah, persevering. That's something. There you go. All right, it is 6.50. Coming up in the morning sprint, new developments in a June homicide of a grandmother in Rock County. Who's accused and what's next for the case? First, though, we want to say happy birthday to Abraham, Riley, and all the kiddos turning three today. Thanks for celebrating with News 3 Now this morning. We'll be right back. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. It's your last chance to ring in the new year with style at Ashley Home Store. Save up to $1,000 on select mattresses. Shop in stock mattresses up to 65% off and delivered to your door within five days. Plus interest-free financing for five years on luxury brands. Only at Ashley Home Store. Grass looks great, Zeus. Hey, could you maybe trim the hydrangea too? Sure thing, Kevin. You want me to do the box suits as well? No. Finding the right person for the job isn't always easy. But when you have an insurance question, you can always count on your local GEICO agent. They can give you personalized advice and could help you save hundreds. Hey, Medusa, let's boogie. For expert help with all your insurance needs, get to know your local GEICO agent today. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's gonna be wider. So this New Year's, if you have yellowing between your teeth or coffee stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And each five minute application, you'll see whiter teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes or an hour and start using the Power Swabs 5-Minute Solution. Just snap, swab, and smile. After just seven days, the results were awesome. Power Swabs was easy to use every day, and each day I could see it better and better, and from beginning to end, it's definitely whiter. Uh, they look clean, they feel clean, um, and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. This new year, order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. Get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or Visit powerswabs.com today. It's your last chance to ring in the new year with style at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 54% off holiday doorbusters and special buys while supplies last. Plus, interest-free financing for five years. Pay less than $20 a month for a new room you'll love. Only at Ashley Home Store. Anytime fitness. Join for just a dollar. Hurry and soon. 6.53 time for the morning sprint. The CDC says Omicron is now responsible for 95% of all COVID-19 cases nationwide. Experts say that new strain does not cause more severe illness, but way more people are getting infected, testing hospital systems. 
In Wisconsin, we've reached an all-time high of 8,000 cases reported in a single day. COVID hospitalizations have reached over 100,000 in the U.S., on par with last summer's Delta surge. An update to breaking news from Monday. Crews say no one was hurt in a fire at the Didion ethanol plant in Cambria. The flames were reportedly coming from a piece of equipment and were quickly contained. An explosion at the adjacent Didion grain mill in 2017 killed five people and injured 14 others. A Rock County man is pleading guilty to killing his grandmother last June. 37-year-old Jamie Beggs is charged with one count of first-degree intentional homicide. During yesterday's hearing, Beggs was found guilty by mental disease at the time of the crime. The court ordered Beggs to be committed under the Department of Health Services. His sentencing hearing is scheduled for the end of January. Another UW athletics program impacted by COVID. This weekend's men's hockey series between Wisconsin and Ohio State has been postponed because of COVID inside the Badgers locker room. The decision made by the university's medical staff yesterday. The Badgers are scheduled to return to the ice January 14th at home against Michigan State. The Chandler Halderson trial officially underway with eight witnesses called to the stand yesterday. Attorneys for the case say the trial will take about three more weeks. The defense said the evidence against Halderson is incomplete and can't prove guilt. The prosecution says the unraveling of lies he told to his parents about his education and employment serve as his motive. Supply chain issues aren't slowing down traffic at one of the nation's ports this morning. The Port of Los Angeles reported 2021 was its busiest year on record. 10.7 million 20-foot containers passed through the port last year. That's 13% more than the record set in 2018. Officials say they're experiencing higher productivity than even before the pandemic. They expect that pace to continue this year. We've got an alert day for that windy snow uh, happening right now. Some school districts are already choosing caution by canceling or delaying. Mineral Point and Dodgeville are closed, while other districts like Benton have a two-hour delay. Head to channel3000.com, where we have all those districts linked at the top of our page. And to wrap things up in terms of weather, well, we have a winter weather advisory in effect until 6 p.m. this evening for areas in southern Wisconsin for us. Now, as we roll in on top of that alert day, what we're really going to be seeing is the wind and snow combination is going to really affect our travel today and are lowering our visibility. Our takeaway, though, is that it's going to be blustery and snowy today, but bitter cold is on the way for the next couple of days as well. So as we take a look at our 10 day, that's right, folks, make sure that you're bundling up and staying warm. We're looking at single digits and even below zero for the next few days, guys. Julian, thank you. We're going to keep an eye on those school closures and the alert day. An update ahead in half an hour.